Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Pennsylvania Quakers and the Houston Cougars. Number three is the franchise type player this team turns to night in and night out. He shows up to compete every night. When his team needs some offense, he's there to provide it. He can shoot it as well as anyone on his team. The Cougars will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Cougars are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for him tonight, Dick? Yeah, on a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. Second of all, be monsters on the boards. Don't be afraid to get tangled up. Crash the glass. And finally, execute defensively. Don't get caught going for the big steals or the big blocks. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Both teams looking to get things going here. Lindstrom handles the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes for the ball handler. Russell handles the feed. He hits the shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He goes for three. He drains the shot. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They'll work it around the arc. Postel receives the ball. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Goes. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important than that talented board set they have. Yeah, that helps. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Gave it up. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. The small forward receives the pass. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. That's a 7-0 run. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. On the dribble, gives it up, shoots it. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. And he'll kick it back outside. Postel, pump fakes. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. That one's off. He strips him clean. Now trying to feed the low block. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Looks at a three. Off the rim and no good. Up 
I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Good job defensively. Gave it up. For two, Houston is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Trying to feed the low block. Tries to get the D to bite. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Oh, he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He uses the shot fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Boy, terrible execution on offense. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. He unloads a three. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Down inside. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Looking for a screen on top and got it. And off the mark. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. For the bucket. Makes the shot. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. He dials long distance. Gets it to fall. They go into the low block. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries for two. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Working it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Oh, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. There's the pick. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Listen to that reaction by the crowd. They're loving it. What a response. What enthusiasm. Ball handler's in trouble. Tries one from three-point land. It sticks. That's seven on answer. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Drains it. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. 
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, I'm standing right behind the bench, and his teammates are trying to get him going. Although they hold the lead, they know their chances of winning without him playing well are very slim. We'll continue to monitor his performance the rest of the way, Brad. Thanks, Aaron. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. The ball goes out of bounds. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. He's saying, get up, people, get up. High post flashes for the opportunity. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special one, feeding the post. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. Poor job. Poor job. Blocked. Nice job defensively. That was absolutely phenomenal. They work it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Trying to draw the foul. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Or two, perfectly executed. Good job defensively, they just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Thinks about the shot. For the bucket. I love this guy, Hook. Huh? You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? He shoots from the top of the key. He makes the shot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. In and out. He takes the board. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He used the screen to create the space for the score on the inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Kicks it out. The skip pass is picked off. Now they work it around the perimeter. He attempts the trifecta. Set that screen away. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Tries a three ball. He nails the shot. They 
working around the perimeter. Postel in the paint. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. See if they can get a good shot this trip. Fakes the shot. Gave it up. He attempts the three. Sinks it. He tries a jump hook. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. On the inside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And the ball goes out of play. That's a no-no. Obvious foul. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. For three, he can't miss. And this young man's feeling it, Brad. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Nice shot. Too physical. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He's got a high post flasher. On the dribble, gives it up. He looks for three. Got it. Momentary look from three-point land. And has it rejected. He fetched it a great job with that block shot. Dick, I don't know if the glass is half empty or half full, but it's about half full in here. Yeah, it's about half full right now. That doesn't give you that emotional setting that you like as a home court. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Takes the, and they're gonna count it. Determination, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. Good. On the inside. Here's a double team. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He puts up the three ball. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket.
There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Pump fakes. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Up and inside. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Got a nice screen. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Unloads. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Stolen away. He wants an up-tempo style of game. And he scores despite the hack. Makes the block. Gave it up. Working it around the perimeter. Stop and pop. You betcha. With a rejection. Now they work it around the perimeter. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. On the outside, takes away the pass. Russell is animated and ready to go. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? On the outside. Entry pass in the paint. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the line for the first time. First one is no good. Makes it. Shot clock is dead. He intercepts it. speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Perfectly executed. Puts up a prayer. Way off target. At the end of the first half, the Quakers trail by five. Well, it's been a close one so far, Dick Vitale. What's your take on the play of the half? My ally, Brad, has to be the great work in the paint so far. It'll be interesting to see who keeps it up in the next half. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out.
Houston is showing tremendous accuracy from the floor in the first half, partner. They're so well coached, man. Working the ball around for the high percentage shot. That's a lot of maturity, man. They really are a mature basketball team. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shot. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that, Dick. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play, you got a chance really to win. Double team now, bad angle. There's the fake. Goes up for two. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious run with their shooting, Brad. The three goes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Up fake. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Picks off the lazy pass. Looking for a good shot. Got some room. And the ball goes out of bounds. We thought this game would be a sellout, Dick, and it's not. I tell you, a lot of empty seats here. It's only half full. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He can't stay with it. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. Fakes a jumper. The student body is rocking tonight. Isn't it great, Brad? There they come with a double team to stop it. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Off target for the bucket. He gets the shot to fall. They're working around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Moving it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He's going nowhere. Going Ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Tries for two. There was no doubt about that one. They 
They're working around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. A whistle and a foul. The coach now happy in the sideline. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking it. And a momentary look from three-point land. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Look at that spacing. Ooh, look at the shot block. But he got some contact. Nice hops. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Pull-up jumper from way out. He hits the bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work it around the perimeter. He tries to knock down the three. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Nice high post screen. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit sign. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. They're off into transition. Goes up for two. Makes the shot. <laughs> Up and inside. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Here they come now on a turn. For two. Gets it to go. They're working around the arc. He intercepts it. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Looking for a good shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Comes way out court, and they'll have another chance. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shooters. They've got to attack inside and then out. Intercepted. Here they go into transition. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Great defensive play, anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. 
The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. But he's on fire. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. The man is off the charts, Brad. Check that out, he's coming up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Step out on that screener. The three balls had a better start flying, baby. Because this one's almost over. The player's got a much-needed breather with that timeout. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the inside. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. He throws it up from downtown. That's good. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. Steals a pass. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I think he took a chance, and he lost, baby. The Quakers are behind by 15. They're working around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. It's electrifying in here. There's the trap. Jumps in. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Goes up for two. And in and out. Pennsylvania are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Picks off the pass. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. 
That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. You've got that right, Brad. Jumped in front to take it away. For two, nice shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. He wants a three. Oh, yes. The Cougars are ahead by 13. Spacing. Got the high pick. He shoots from the top of the key. He drains the bucket. Watch here. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Houston are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. On the inside. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. It's no good. The ball goes out of play. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. He bombs from outside. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. The Quakers have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. And the fans are going wild. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. off looking for a good shot he squares up down on the low block I tell you teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position you can drive shoot or you can pass high post screen he shoots from left of the circle gets it to fall Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He gets it to fall. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler.
takes away the pass. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Stolen away. Now the high screen. From three-point territory. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect for saying, you know what, let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Picked out of the air. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory, like a sixth man. Working it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. On the outside. There they come with a double team to stop it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Double team now, bad angle. to the action. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the top of the circle, way off target. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. I think they're trying to make a statement. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. On the dribble, gives it up. Way out on top, controlling the ball on the outside. And a momentary look from three-point land. Pushing that basketball. Has a nice look at the basket. Outside jumper. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Picked off. Manley receives the ball. They run it up into transition. For the deuce. Can't get the shot to go. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Houston simply blew this team away tonight. Well, they came into favorites, and it did not disappoint. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.